Hey everybody, it's Johnny and I'm back with a Roland S550 video. Um, and in this video, we're just going to go into the fine details of how to set up the SCSI to SD card, uh, install it, um, the cabling, how I got it inside the unit, and then we're going to go and format an SD card and set it all up to work um, using some of the information I found on the web. And I'm going to show you how to do this uh, yourself. So. Um, this video should be really informative for those of you who want to get a SCSI hard drive option going inside the Roland S550 uh, like I do. And it's super handy. I, I really like it. Um, it sort of has a few advantages over um, the floppy, uh, USB floppy system that a lot of people put in. Um, and um, the OS is just a little bit more set up to use SCSI. Um, and give you like all the libraries and the visual display of all of them when you're loading and, and that sort of thing. So it's really nice feature to have if you can get it running. All right, so let's get going. Okay, here we are with the S550 opened up and it's flipped over on its back and the back panel's been removed. And I just wanna show you uh, some of the things we've done here. Um, so here's the analog output board and then in place here is the SCSI interface board. And this is not the HD5 IF board. This is an aftermarket board um, that I, I bought off eBay. And I'm gonna provide some more details on that. Um, and it, it actually connects uh, via what looks to be a 30 pin header, 40, sorry, 40 pin header here that connects through um, connects through the case. So I'll, I'll open that up and show you how that connects in. This is the video board that I, uh, another um, eBay purchase. And this converts basically SCART to uh, VGA, which I'm using here. And here's the VGA cable that's running out through the back um, to the little mini monitor. And then sort of right here, you can see um, I've got the um, SCSI connection going here. So this is actually um, the, the cable um, sort of, you can see that there. This cable from the SCSI interface board goes to a, like a DB25 connector. And then that goes to a DB25 to um, 50 pin uh, converter board because the SCSI DHD only takes uh, 50 pin. So once we've got the 50 pin connector at the SCSI to HD, uh, I've mounted that there um, using one of the standoffs. And uh, then you can, and I've opened up that panel so you can insert the, the um, SD card there. So it's actually kind of a three board process for SCSI. You have the interface board, and then you have the converter, uh, 25 to 50 pin converter, and then um, the SCSI to HD um, board. So, okay, here we are. I have it all apart um, for the most part. You can see the SCSI connector coming through from the main board. Um, it's a 40 pin um, header that punches through the, the metal. And that is where the ribbon cable from Roland's, uh, the, which would attach to Roland's HD5 IF board. And I believe that would run up to the back panel um, if you happen to get that board. Um, but I wanted to keep everything internal. And so I have um, this board, um, which is called the HD5 interface board. And it's a similar um, board, it's smaller. But unfortunately, it doesn't run. Um, it, it runs a cable to a 25 pin header that you you could attach to the back panel uh, right here and just hook up a standard like zip drive or something like that or a SCSI drive. Um, but I wanted to keep everything internal and keep the SCSI to HD internal. So I needed to sort of, you know, kludge together some more adapters. So as you can see here, the 25 pin, which would go to the back panel, 
um, it gets um, attached to this 50 pin um, converter board. It's an Amiga kit, uh, DB25 to SCSI um, adapter. And um, to do that, I also needed to install like a, a, a turnaround here uh, to connect the DB25 properly. And then, um, you know, I have now a 50 pin cable that I can run to the SCSI to HD, which is in installed here. So just gives you a little more um, idea what's going on the inside. I've got some double-sided sticky tape here to hold this down. And that can just, uh, just goes right in here. Let's press that in. And uh, yeah, sort of tuck the cabling a bit here so that it was pretty easy to connect. Um, the cool thing here too is this power cord. Uh, the SCSI DHD actually powers off a standard computer power cord, but the cool thing about this um, aftermarket um, SCSI interface is that it actually has a 5 volt power output. So I'm able to like cable that and power the SCSI to HD interface as well, which is nice and tidy. Um, so here's, yeah, everything inside. Okay, now that we got everything installed inside the S550, uh, the first thing we got to do is set up the SCSI to HD card so it uh, recognizes the four hard drives um, that we're going to put on the SD card properly. And it's very specific settings that you have to upload to the SCSI to HD card for this to work. So um, we're going to connect the USB cable from the back of the SCSI to HD card to my Mac and then we're going to upload the, the firmware settings to the SCSI to HD card so that it, it recognizes the drives properly. I just want to show you um, this great site, LamaMusic.com, if you haven't already checked it out. This is an amazing resource for Roland S50 and S550, um, S330 sampler information, and higher. And um, on this site, I this is the site I used to just find out all my information on formatting the drives. It was a really great resource. Um, so if you go into the DIY section, and then go under SCSI to SD2 projects. Um, we can, you know, you can see all the information about using a SCSI to SD2 card with your S550 F760. And um, if you scroll down to the bottom, um, you scroll down a bit, you'll start seeing some settings um, that you'll need to format the SD2 card with. And the ones that I used were on. Um, this page down at the bottom on the 2018 update and then under more info. And then I scrolled down to multi-partitioning for the S550, um, the first sections for the S750, 770, um, which can use, but you know, bigger images. Um, but I think it's important um, that you go down to the S550 section and then um, set up your um, set up your SD2 SD uh, SCSI to SD card um, th this way and so that's what we're going to do right now is we're going to use the SCSI to SD2 utility and we're going to put in all of these numbers here uh, that it said just to um, you know to, to get it to work properly and make sure you've got the general settings correct too which are from the top here um, you'll need to set those up um, as well. So uh, I think that's the from the first page. Sorry, it's on the first page. There's some general settings for parity and such. So you want to get those right and then set up your drives um, uh, as to these configurations here. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, as you can see, we've got the USB cable connected to the SCSI to HD device in the back of the S50 and it's running over to my backbook here where I'm going to load on um, the settings to set up the device. Okay, so here we are with the SCSI to SD2 utility and as you can see, um, I've got the settings all set up for the drives. Um, you know, uh, from the Llama Music site. 
And um, on the first setting, just make sure you have startup delays one second and you've enabled parity and unit attention. And then um, the other trick is on the first drive, um, you want to just have it start at 63, sector 63. And then from there on, all the drives are the same size. So they're um, 163,840 sectors each. And um, they start at these particular sectors. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, once we've got that set up, we're gonna just go and um, write to the device. So we're gonna do that right now. And that is done. And one thing I just want to mention quickly is when you have the SCSI um, to SD connected to the Mac, make sure your S550 is off. You don't need to power it up at all at this point. Uh, it powers from the USB, um, USB cable. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take the blank um, 16 gigabyte um, SD card and I'm going to um, actually um, put it in my card reader and um, just put it into um, into my Mac. And from there, we can format the SD card um, to the four drives and get it all set up for working in the S550. Under the multi-partitioning, you'll notice there's a little set of scripts by Ray Bellis um, to set up micro partitioning configs. Um, and um, I just, if you just go to that um, right there and download these, um, you're going to get a, like a handy set of scripts for just copying files over um, with um, the terminal command from the Mac. And the reason why I did this is I've tried some other methods um, such um, as the chicken systems translator. And I just wasn't really able to get that to work properly. So I just went with the um, command line scripts and those seem to work for me. Here we are and we've got um, the folder with the Ray Bellis scripts and his readme.txt, which is really where I got all the super useful information off of. I'm not really great with terminals, so um, there's some things here you need to read very carefully uh, in order to um, format the the disk, um, the SD card when we put it in, and then, you know, um, a way to actually move over some images that I've downloaded from the Lama Music site to the drive afterwards. And all this stuff worked. I was really surprised um, how well it worked, actually. Um, so definitely give the README text a read. And um, and then you'll want to just perform the operations. And the first thing we're going to do is actually uh, partition um, the drive into four 800 meg partitions. And um, that was pretty easy to do. Um, this gives us lots of room um, to put like the the information on the on the partitions, even though the sampler only reads them as 80 megabytes. Um, this is just fine because the, the drive is actually um, 16 gigabytes anyway, so it's got lots of space. And we're going to do that uh, right now. First thing you'll notice is that it will come up as um, a disk that it can't read and just hit ignore. And then if you go to disk utility, normally you would use this for partitioning off uh, drives, but <clears throat> on the latest Mac OSs, they've really crippled the disk utility. And as you'll notice, you, you can't partition a USB drive um, properly anymore. So that's why we have to go to the terminal scripts, which totally sucks. I know on older Mac OSs, um, you could do the partitioning properly, but you can no longer do that. I'm running Ventura, and they've totally crippled the disk utility. One thing as well to note, 
um, look, be very careful and remember this section here, disc three, is super important that we know the name of this USB um, disc is disc three because that's the one we're going to uh, partition and format. You don't want to partition your main drive by accident or anything like that. So let's close disk utility. We have no use for it anymore. And we're going to go to the readme text from Ray Bellis and just grab um, this sudo dd copy script. Just copy that and put it in our terminal. Um, just paste that in here. I've already done it, but I'll do it again. Yeah, whoops. Um, sorry, let me just erase that. Yeah, so copy that in to um, terminal and you'll notice here I've got disk three set up. So it's referencing the correct disk. So we're gonna do, um, and then you also have to make sure that this file from his um, config uh, folder he gave us, that the images file is um, put into your user directory. So I've dropped that, that file into Johnny Morgan 808 um, over here, as you can see. So now that we do that, um, let's just hit enter. It's going to ask me for my password. And it's going to do it. Um, and as you see, as soon as it did it, um, these drives will be active and it, the system doesn't know what to do with them. So, um, so you know it worked. And I'm just going to hit ignore. So we've done that. We've partitioned it off. And now if you open up disk utility, um, this is pretty cool. You'll see under the unit, it actually has um, the, all the drives partitioned and ready to go for us. So that worked properly. OK, we've got the SD card out of the computer. And we're going to just stick it into the back of the sampler now into the SCSI to SD2 card. Make sure it clicks in and um, we're ready to go. Um, we're gonna power up the sampler and uh, format the drives. Okay, yeah, we turned on the sampler and S550 is just booting up. And can see our hard drives there, the four H's. And as you can see, uh, they're unformatted. So what we're gonna do now is use the sampler to format them into Roland um, proprietary format. And so that's pretty simple. Um, we just go to the disk command and go down to setup. And then let's change it to um, ID. Always seems to go to the last ID. Let's change it to ID one. Um, and we're going to format that drive, hit command and the hard drive format and hit execute. And this takes a while. This takes probably about three minutes or more per drive. And uh, so we're just going to let that crank away here and format this drive. Okay, great. So the first drive is complete. And um, now we're just going to change the SCSI hard disk ID to two. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to format um, the next drive. I'm going to do that for all four drives. And um, once we're done that, then we'll have them all set up for roll and format. And uh, we'll be good to go. So let's format this drive. Formatting is complete. Uh, we've formatted all four drives. You can see ID4 there. Um, so now all four drives are set up with Roland S550 format. 
And now the final stage is to take the SD card out of the unit again, out of the back and into the Mac. And what we're going to do now is copy over all the sound libraries onto the Roland um, formatted drives. And now it's time to grab some samples to put on the SD card. So we're going to go to the sample section. And um, if you scroll down to the bottom, um, this is where all the large images are. And I used these 80 megabyte zip disk hard drive images. Um, I think they're the same, to be honest. Um, but uh, I grabbed these 80 megabyte disk 1, disk 2, and disk 3 and loaded those onto um, my hard drive. And they come down as actually as, um, as image files. Um, so uh, when, you, when you save them, they're actually an image file .img file. And the key there is to then uh, rename the .img to .iso because I apparently image files and ISO files are essentially the exact same. They're just named differently. And so that's the trick there. As you can see down at the bottom here, we've got the zip disk um, .iso files in my, um, my user folder. And again, those were .img files. I just renamed them to .iso um, because you, this uh, copy utility uh, just works with ISO um, images. And so the key here is to then again in raise uh, scripts, grabbed, grab the first copy uh, command sudo dd, and it's going to look for that image and then move it to our Roland disk. And you want to make sure that this is disk 3 s1 for the first image. Um, the disks are, uh, it's all, um, they're sequential. So um, disk 3 means like the USB drive and then S1 is like the first the first partition of that drive and so I'm going to hit enter oh sorry first things first we got to put in our SD card into the computer and again I think um, yeah it should come up saying it doesn't know what this thing is because it's a roll in format so we're just going to ignore that and then we're going to execute this command uh, here. And again, it's asking for my password. Uh, OK, can't find an image. Oh, sorry, you got to change that. Couldn't find my, couldn't find the, the right file. Of course, it's called zip, zip disk one. S1.iso-of-dev-disk3-s1. Yeah, let's try this. And it's copying. You can tell it's copying. Um, the jump drive is actually, the USB drive is actually flashing right now, so I can tell it's copying it over. And it does take a little bit of time. Um, I guess it's 80, 80 megabytes. Okay, there it is. It's copied over. Awesome. Um, now let's just do the same thing for zip disk two. set to two and make sure that this is uh, this is for partition two and we're gonna hit that and then we're gonna do the same for the third disk as well okay it's finished copying we've copied all three a disks. Now, if I had a fourth zip disk, we could populate the fourth uh, drive as well. Um, but I think with those three zip disks, that's most of the Roland sound libraries 
on there. So uh, the next stage is to take the SD card out of the P out of the Mac, and we're going to put it back into the sampler, and we should have all our libraries uh, ready to go. So let's check it out. Okay, let's give it a try. It's powering up the S550. And it should start loading right away if the files are there. Yeah, it's loading. So it does recognize some data, which is great. Okay, let's check out, it's probably got drive four uh, set up. So let's go to the disk menu and let's change, go to, down to setup and let's change that ID to ID one, enter. Okay, great. Yeah, and you can see right away, um, it's recognizing some, some samples. Um, so let's go to um, command, um, let's go to disk and HD load, enter, and then under uh, the sub commands there, we can check out, or sorry, sub command, we can check out the hard drive area. And there you go, there's a full set of um, Roland sample libraries all ready to go. And now if we, um, we take the disk, and let's change that to disk two, um, there we go, enter and you can see some samples loaded there. And um, so under the disk menu, under hard drive load, let's check out that um, disk menu, sub menu, hard drive area. And you can see on disk two, another full set of samples and the same with disk three. So, so we've successfully loaded on the entire Roland Sound libraries onto, onto multiple hard drives all within the S550. So, yeah, so I hope that really helps you guys out. Um, this took a little while to figure out, but got it to work and I'm super happy with it. Um, my S550 has everything ready to go. Um, and at, so when I turn it on, I just have all the libraries, you know, at my fingertips, which is super handy. And it's all internal to the S550. So there's no external drives or any, you know, anything to mess with. It's all nice and compact. Um, so let me know in the comments if you can get this going and uh, yeah, hope this helps you guys out. Cheers.